We know that Parkinson's disease is not just a single entity. There are many different subtypes of Parkinson's disease. Uh, at least um, 30 years ago, we described two major subtypes of Parkinson's disease. One is uh, referred to as the tremor dominant form of Parkinson's disease, uh, which represents about 75% uh, of all patients with Parkinson's disease. And the uh, second subtype is uh, what we refer to as PIGD, partial instability, gait difficulty form of Parkinson. Uh, the first subtype, the tremor dominant form of um, uh, Parkinson's disease, often starts at a relatively younger age, somewhere between the ages of 45 and 55. Uh, the onset usually is tremor, uh, sort of a rest tremor, in, uh, usually in the hand. Um, and then it spreads uh, to the opposite side, and it may involve other parts of the body, such as the lips, chin, jaw, legs, uh, but it never involves the head. So if one sees uh, uh, an individual with oscillation of the head, like no, 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 or yes, 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 that individual almost certainly does not have Parkinson's disease, but has another condition, namely essential tremor, which is frequently confused with Parkinson's disease. Now, for a long time, uh, it, has be, it was thought that essential tremor and Parkinson's disease are totally distinct disorders. And this is probably true f still for the majority of patients with Parkinson's disease and essential tremor. But we have accumulated uh, some evidence over, over the last two or three decades to uh, indicate that there's a subtype of patients with essential tremor that may evolve into this tremor dominant form of Parkinson's disease and that uh, some patients with essential tremor are at an increased risk uh, for developing Parkinson's disease. So this is the tremor dominant form of Parkinson's disease, the most common form of uh, Parkinson's disease, usually has a much more favorable prognosis uh, than the second uh, subtype of Parkinson's disease, the PIGD form of Parkinson's disease. Uh, in, the, in this form of uh, uh, Parkinson's disease, the PIGD or partial instability gait difficulty form of Parkinson's uh, patients often start with a shuffling gait, with uh, some difficulty with their balance, with tendency to fall either forward or, or backwards, uh, and they develop falls uh, early in the course of the disease. Uh, the natural cause of progression in the PIGD form of Parkinson's disease is much more rapid uh, than in the tremor dominant, so the prognosis is less favorable, uh, and uh, they n do not respond as well to anti-Parkinson medications uh, such as levodopa. So when I uh, see patients with Parkinson's disease, uh, uh, if they have the tremor dominant form of Parkinson's disease, I may tell them, well, the bad news is that you have Parkinson's disease, but the good news is that you have the best kind of Parkinson's disease, the kind of Parkinson that generally has a good uh, prognosis. Now, in addition to the tremor uh, form of Parkinson's disease and the PIGD form of Parkinson's disease, we often subdivide uh, uh, Parkinson's disease according to the age of onset. Uh, so um, there could be juvenile form of Parkinson's disease uh, starting in childhood. It's extremely rare, but uh, it, does, it does occur. And then there's a young onset form of Parkinson's disease that may start in the 20s or 30s. Uh, these patients uh, often respond very well to levodopa, uh, but are much more vulnerable to the side effects of levodopa uh, such as dyskinesias, the twisting, jerking type involuntary movements, uh, and that is a characteristic feature of the young onset Parkinson's disease. Uh, and then there is a late onset uh, Parkinson's disease, which tends to be more of the PIGD form of Parkinson. Uh, these patients uh, tend to develop uh, uh, the gait difficulty balance problem early on, and they may often uh, develop cognitive decline early on, and dementia becomes uh, the dominant feature uh, in the more advanced stages of the disease. Um, speaking of stages of the disease, uh, we divide uh, the natural uh, course of uh, progression of Parkinson's disease into the five stages, the so-called Hone and Yar stages, uh, where stage one uh, represents chiefly uh, unilateral, one-sided uh, symptoms, such as tremor. Stage two means uh, that uh, the symptoms uh, occur bilaterally on both sides. Stage three means that the patient is beginning to develop uh, some difficulties with their balance, but uh, uh, still uh, are able to ambulate without assistance. 
Uh, stage four means they require assistance with ambulation, and stage five usually means that the patients are wheelchair bound or bedridden. So these are the, the five stages of uh, Parkinson's disease, and our goal, of course, is to uh, maintain the patient in the earliest stages of the disease as possible with the appropriate treatment.